As you probably know, peak current mode control suffers from something called subharmonic oscillations. And you probably know that we fix it with what we call a compensating ramp or a slope compensation. So in this video, we are going to show this phenomenon both in frequency domain and time domain and see what it looks like and how we fix it. So, in early days of peak current mode control, engineers realized that as the duty increased and approached 50%, um, it started to become thick pulse, thick pulse, thick pulse, thin pulse, and they called that subharmonic oscillations. We're going to show that on the oscilloscope in the lab in a little bit. This manifests itself as a resonance, a half the switching frequency in the frequency domain. Again, we're going to show that in a lab very, very shortly. But, for now, the frequency the main response of a current mode plant will look something like this. So you start with a, some low frequency gain, then it goes down at the rate of 20 dB per decade, and then you have this resonance here at half the switching frequency, whereby this is the frequency, this is your gain, and this resonance here is at half switching frequency Fs. This was famously modeled by uh, Dr. Ray Ridley, whereby he approximated this resonance to a double pole underdamped a resonance system and uh, he proposed that if you damp this then like any other resonance the oscillations would go away and of course this is what the addition of uh, the slope compensating ramp does so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lab and we're going to show this in both frequency domain and in time domain we're going to show that the, we have got subharmonic oscillations in, in time domain and then we're going to see that peaking on our body 100 and they want to gradually start adding compensating ramp and you see that this gets damped and damped and damped and, in, and when it gets damped enough the subharmonic oscillations goes away just exactly as it was predicted in the model. Uh, the link for the model is uh, in the description so now let's go to the lab and let's see it for real. Okay so um, here we are in the lab um, I've got here a, a buck converter and uh, what we're looking at on the oscilloscope is the uh, PWM signal, that is the uh, yellow trace. Then we have got the current sense signal, which is the switch current plus the added ramp, uh, and that's the pink trace. And I'm also displaying with the blue trace the amount of ramp that I am manually adding. It's important to know that these days, majority of chips actually do this automatically for you, and we're going to talk about that in a different video. But for now, what I can do, if you look at the blue trace and the pink trace, um, I can can add or um, increase or decrease the amount of ramp that I add to my current sense. You can see that the blue trace is the amount of ramp that I'm adding and as I increase the amount the total peak of the uh, current sense goes up, that's the pink trace, and I can reduce it. Now if I reduce it too much it is going to uh, go into um, uh, uh, subharmonic oscillations and let's see if we can make that happen so I'm going to reduce my ramp you see that the size of the blue ramp is going down and at some point we're going to start seeing so there we go you're beginning to see the PWM go thick pulse thin pulse thick pulse thin pulse so I'm going to reduce it even more and you'll see that it's going to get worse and worse and worse now I'm adding very little ramp and as if you recall, we said that it was dependent on the duty. So if I were to increase my current, it would probably get even worse. Let's see if I can, uh, I can increase the current. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that. There you go. So if I increase my current, you can see that it's getting even worse. And I'm going to stop that for a moment. And you see subharmonic oscillations clearly here. Thick pulse, thin pulse, thick pulse, thin pulse. Now this can be seen on the frequency domain. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the computer and we're going to show this on frequency domain as a resonance is half the, time, half the switching frequency and how adding and subtracting the, the, the ramp changes the Q and therefore the damping of this resonance. Um, so I've just quickly changed the setup uh, so that um, we measure the frequency response. I've taken the oscilloscope off and now uh, we are looking at the frequency response of the um, of the total loop and you can see that it's coming down the switching frequency of this converter is 230 um, kilohertz and therefore the resonance double pole is going to happen at half the switching frequency and you can clearly see that here which is at 115 just as the Ridley model predicts now 
At the moment, I'm adding very little ramp, and you can see that there is a certain amount of peaking, and you can also see it in the phase plot. So in the phase plot, you can see that the 180 degrees phase loss is actually very, very sharp. In a very low frequency span, you lose a lot of phase. Um, so I'm gonna save this to memory, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ramp. And what we said was that as we add ramp, we're going to damp the queue, and therefore I expect this peaking to get lower, and I expect this phase loss to be shallower. So it's going to take a longer period for it to, to, to go to lose that much phase. So let me just increase that a bit. So I'm increasing the amount of ramp that I'm adding. And uh, let's just wait a moment for it to get to the correct point. You, what you're looking for is this Q resonance to be damped. We're adding more ramp. Uh, there you go. You can see that it's damped. You all can see this phase loss as well. It's getting more shallow. So I'm going to also save that to memory. And then I'm going to increase the, damp, the, the ramp even more, which is going to damp it even more. There you go. I'm going to save that and let's increase it a bit more also. And again, you can see that the phase is shallowing out. The phase loss starts earlier and this is also damped. So um, there we go. We have uh, discussed uh, uh, peak current mode and the resonance as half the switching frequency. We've shown subharmonic oscillations on the uh, oscilloscope in time domain and now we have shown clearly the, the resonance at half the switching frequency um, in frequency domain and also how as we add the amount of ramp that we add this Q gets stamped and therefore subharmonic oscillations goes away. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope to see you at one of our workshops.